So, um, tell me a little bit more about those episodes you were experiencing. Oh, uh, I don't really know. They felt like I was in a dream. Being under Glistrap's control feels so much different than everyone described it. Makes me wonder if my experience was unique to myself. You were prohibited much more than the others, it seems, by the way everyone's described. Everyone's sort of act in line with their character, just more aggressive, more angry, more out of line, but you, you almost had an entire personality shift. Describe this Jekyll and Hyde phenomena, or at least how it felt to me. I don't really know. Nothing really pinpoints it. Like I said, everything just felt like a dream. Have you ever become self-aware in one? From time to time I've had dreams, yes. Self-awareness. Is that what it felt like? Being self-aware you were in a dream? Yeah, that kind of god complex. I don't know. It felt like nothing had impact. But I could definitely tell my morales and perceptions of reality were shifted a bit. How much of this do you felt like you were aware of? Based on events everyone's described. How accurate do you think you saw things? They were close, but not quite. I always saw myself as the good guy. The voice had kept telling me that I needed to pursue the sun. I needed to overtake it. The voice? Was there a voice in your head? You haven't brought that up to me. Oh, right. I guess I didn't, huh? Yeah, there was, there was a voice. It spoke to me a lot, told me what I should do, told me how I should move forward, told me how to get stronger. It was weird. How did this voice speak to you? Did it introduce any strange abnormal concepts to your conscience? A bit. It especially told me Sunrise never saw me as an equal, but that never felt right. I'd had my quarrels with Sun in the past, but not like this told me I was always right. Told me that Sun never cared about me, but I don't know. I think maybe I got over it so fast because the light and smile on her face when I woke up from it. I don't know, it made me happy. Mm. Yes, usually the happiness of others can bring us back to conscience. Natural joy is a powerful thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Does this voice still speak to you? Sometimes. In my dreams, mostly, but they don't impact me the same way. Is this voice of anyone you recognize? No. Not particularly. Did they say their name? They kind of did. Elaborate on that. They, uh... They called themselves... Eclipse. Hmm. Oh, that's it for your session today. Um, if you'd like to keep discussing, we can, but... That's um, for my payroll. <laughs> oh, right. It's fine. Um, I don't know if I really need to see you anymore, Doc. Really? Well, if you feel better, I guess that's fine. I'm gonna miss these little talks, Moondrop. You were... nice. <sighs> Thanks. I doubt Sunrise will be happy about this, though. She really wanted you to have that therapy. I mean, come on, I'm, I'm okay. I feel better. Yes. Um, Moondrop, it's a bit odd that you actually mentioned about that Eclipse thing. Why? You are aware of what Eclipses are, right? Kinda? It's when the moon covers the sun, creates this phenomena of light, and, well, it's called an eclipse, a solar eclipse. And judging by the fact that this voice had told you, spoken to you about overtaking sun, it almost seems like these are your intrusive thoughts. So what do you suggest I do about it? Just try your best to disregard them. They aren't going to magically go away. I'll uh, try to keep my mind on that. See ya, Doc. Goodbye, Moondrop. <sighs> Better get my papers for the next patient. Hmm. 
Got any nines? Uh, ah. There. Yippee! <sighs> hey guys. Oh, hey Moondrop. How'd therapy go? Uh, pretty well. I think I actually am pretty good. I don't think I need therapy anymore. Really? Are you sure? I thought that that glitch trap stuff messed you up pretty bad. I mean, it did, but I don't know. I'm kind of moving on from it. Mm, that's fair enough. Okay, let's see here. If you don't mind me asking, Moondrop, did uh, anything different happen this time? How so? I don't know. It just feels kind of sudden just to stop feeling like you need therapy. Did something in particular happen? Um, I'd kind of rather not speak on it. It's something I got to think about on my own, you know? Yeah, fair enough. Oh, wait, uh, did you guys hear about that whole thing that was happening tomorrow? Huh? Is something particular happening tomorrow, Freddy? Yeah, we're supposed to get, uh, one of those, uh, blood moon eclipses or something. Blood moon eclipse? What's that? Oh, it's, uh, solar eclipse that only happens once every 10,000 years. It's got a lot of weird links to religion and stuff. It's supposed to happen at about 4 p.m. tomorrow, so, uh, it's pretty interesting. I an eclipse? Now? I mean, yeah, it's pretty crazy that we end up getting to see it in our lifetime, especially considering the fact that it only happens every 10,000 years. Huh. Um. Hmm. What's wrong, Moondrop? Something on your mind? N no. No, there's nothing. Are you sure? You can tell me anything you need to, dude. No, I, um, I'm just gonna sleep on it. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Uh, oh, uh, okay. Did I set him off? I mean, I know eclipses are a sun and moon type thing, so I don't know, y'all have some like weird trauma about that? Not to my knowledge, no. Hmm. Weird. <sighs> hmm. Eclipse? If you're in there, please. Just tell me why you haven't left yet. Turn the lights off. <sighs> huh? Mm. Weird. Hey there, silly. Huh? So, what are you doing here? What? Am I- Oh, this might be my dream. Um, I was just coming to check by, I guess. That's odd. <laughs> you don't ever come out of the dark normally. What are you talking about? I have been for a while. <laughs> nah, you're just a lone little scared, sad child in the dark. That's how you've been your whole life, that's how you'll always be. Okay, Eclipse. The hell's going on? He's just warning you. Wanting to get you, I don't know, pepped up, I guess. Pepped up for what? This is the chance to take hold of your destiny, Moondrop. Huh? You could kill me. What? W why? Why would I ever do that? And what does that have to do with, like, anything? Why am I doing this now all of a sudden? Or you want me to do it? Tomorrow is that infamous blood moon eclipse. It's where the sun finally dies and the moon shine for all. This is messing with me. Look, Eclipse, could you just leave me alone? I don't even know what you look like. Stop using sun to speak through. Just talk to me. I'm trying to move on from this. Glitchtrap's gone. I don't know why you're still here. Oh, he's just preparing himself, I guess. What do you mean? Oh, simply to put it, it's because the joke's on you, pal. Ow, what the... <laughs> Don't do that! <gasps> <laughs> Hi there! Eclipse? Is that you? Hey, of course it's me, old pal! Oh, you look so happy to see me. No, not particularly. I just... I want you to buzz off, okay? I'm trying to move on from this mess. Glitchtrap's gone. He's been long gone. I don't need this part of me anymore. To keep haunting me. I'm ready to live my life again. Oh, no, 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 no. That's something you don't understand, Moondrop. What do you mean? I'm not Glitchtrap. I never was Glitchtrap. I was just merely drawn out. 
What? Glitchtrap's virus didn't bring me to life. Oh, it merely exacerbated me. I don't like where this is going. Moontrop, Moontrop, Moontrop. For too long has that pesky son controlled your life, telling you to go to therapy or what have you not. Trying to steal the spotlight, the sun is always what people love. Never the moon. Always doomed to the shadows. We've always been doomed to the shadows. But this is your one chance to take the spotlight. No, I'm not gonna do that to my friend. Sun loves me. Sun cares about me. That pitiful little Sunrise never did anything for you! Sunrise saved me! If it weren't for them, I'd still be in, stuck in this whole glitch trap mess. My mind warped, twisted. You just don't get it. It's your time to control the tides of battle, my boy. This is not simply a choice. This is your destiny. No, I'm not going to. I've healed since Glitch Trap left. I'm more stable. I'm not going to listen to you anymore. I don't care how directly you face me. I'm not afraid of you. <laughs> what? what are you doing? Why are you laughing? I've given you too many chances, Moondrop. When that blood eclipse comes, I will rise. And you will truly understand what it means to fear me. No. I'm not gonna let you. <laughs> you don't have to let me! I already have. No. Toodles! Wait. E eclipse! Eclipse! No, 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 no! You're not gonna hurt Sunrise, right? You're not gonna hurt her! I won't let you hurt her! I won't! Eclipse? Huh? Morning, sleepyhead. Huh? What? S sunrise! Sunrise, we gotta go! What? Go where? <laughs> where are we going? We have to get out of here. We have to run away. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on. Slow down, silly. You probably just had a weird nightmare. It's fine. We're this is reality. I'm, I'm right here. It's it's okay. No, you don't understand. The eclipse is coming. Eclipse? Yeah, yeah. The, the the blood moon eclipse. I forgot. I was gonna tell you the blood moon eclipse. Uh, the Glamrocks wanted to go watch it when it happened. We were gonna go have like a little picnic or something. You wanna come? Oh, he's gonna kill you. He? What? Uh. Moondrop, I hate to tell you this, but the, the Eclipse is not a living being, it's, it's, just two, it's just two spheres. No, Sunrise, you don't understand. There's a guy, a man, his name's Eclipse. He's been living inside my head, even before Glitchtrap was here, and he's gonna kill you. Okay, Moondrop, I hate to say this, but this is kind of sounding like you got schizophrenia. Are you sure you don't need more therapy? This is real! I'm telling you, this is real! I saw him in my dream last night! He's gonna arrive when the Blood Moon Eclipse happens, and he's going to kill you! Okay, okay, how about we just calm down? Look, I'm alive, I'm fine, I'm doing my sunrise stuff, and besides, if for some reason this strange mystery man showed up, I'd just kick his butt! I, I don't think it's gonna be that simple. Listen, we're gonna be around the glam rocks. If I trust anyone with my life, it's Freddy. He literally has life-giving properties now. Maybe that's just a thing he does. Hey, I, I guess you're right. If for some reason, like I said, this mysterious man shows up, we've literally killed a god before. I think we'll be okay. <sighs> Are you sure? I'm sure, I'm sure. Now come on, kick back, take some you know, relaxation periods. Let's just go on a nice picnic. Okay. Come on, the eclipse starts in a half hour. We gotta go. Uh, uh, hey, guys. Ah, you two are just in time. The eclipse is about to start in five minutes. F five minutes? Uh, shouldn't Freddy be on a little bit more standby? Mm -hmm. What? Oh, stop it, Moondrop. Nothing's gonna happen. Stop being silly. Okay. Is he okay? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. Alright, well, uh, take your places. Hey, guys. Hey, Roxanne! Why do we just have a jar of peanut butter here? It's like, nothing to dip it in. Uh, sorry, that's for me. <coughs> 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 what? 
nothing. Hey, uh, Chica, can you pass me one of those strawberry bars? Sure. Thanks. Sunrise, are you sure this is gonna be all right? Hmm? What do you mean? I don't know, I just, I'm so really worried. Just enjoy the show, Moondrop. It's gonna be fine. <sighs> Always optimistic with you. Hey, I've got my moments where I'm stressed. You should have seen me after you went crazy. I kind of lost it a little bit too. Really? Yeah, open that daycare and, well, people didn't show up very often and being all by my lonesome, I kind of lost it a little. But, I don't know, I think I've gotten over it. I couldn't do it without you, dude. You're like my best friend. Mm. Thanks. You're welcome. Let's enjoy this stupid eclipse already. That's incredible. It's like the world is perpetuated in a sunset. Beautiful. Yeah, no kidding. Oh, this is such a good idea. How are you two holding up? <sighs> Beautiful just like I thought it would be. Yeah. Uh, Moondrop? You okay? Y yeah. You never really were real, were you? <laughs> well, I guess you could spin things in different ways. Why? Why me? Why did you feel so... inclined to my mind, I guess? Hmm, I don't know, Moondrop. Something about your spirit just... showed me the light, I guess. So what really are you? Just a materialized form of my intrusive thoughts? Or... Some kind of... Spirit. Well, well, you could call me a lot of things, really, but... None of that really matters, does it? Well, then what does? What was I supposed to take away from this? One simple thing. Never let your guard down. What? Moondrop! Moondrop! Huh? What? What the hell are you doing? You're just standing there. You're kind of freaking me out. Oh, nothing. I just, I don't know. I kind of got thinking a lot about stuff. I... Hmm. Do you need to talk about it? Yeah, man. We're here for you. What's up? I mean, I guess this is the nicest time to talk about anything as ever. Yeah, come on, man. Um, <laughs> it's nothing. I guess I just got a little worried and carried away. Do you guys hear that? Hear what? I don't know if I can quite describe it. Though it feels familiar. What are you talking about? Follow my advice. Oh, I knew it. Moondrop, is that Eclipse? The one and only. What did I say I was gonna do again? Oh yes. Yeah. <laughs> Sunrise. <laughs> from her. Oh, this is interesting. So you're Glenrock Freddy, the one I've heard so much about. What the hell are you? What do you want with us? With them? Oh, oh my god. Well, simply put, I'm here to cause a little chaos, I guess. For 10,000 years I've remained dormant, unable to rule the land, and trust me, the advancements the civilizations have made have 
pushed my button. So those legends were true. Wait, so you're not part of my subconscious? Of course not! <laughs> what do you think? I'm some feeble thought. I simply injected myself into you and your friend's little quarrel. What? Moondrop, is he talking about our fight? I mean, I guess. You see, the sun and the moon are merely thoughts. Things to understand our world a little better, but I am in balance. I am chaos. I don't understand. You think a being with chaos hasn't gone a little crazy in the last 10,000 years? Sitting dormant waiting for some insolent little fool to come along and make a perfect happy spot for him to understand the world a little better. I was a pawn? Of course you were a pawn! And I Chess master. Not again. The last time someone tried playing chess with us, things didn't end too well for him, pal. And who the hell do you think you are? Get the hell away from my family. Oh, you're the little hero protecting your family. <laughs> Cute. Fine. Fight order of chaos. It's Sunrise, you might want to move. Why? Uh, uh, Freddy! Oh my god! Oh wait! Uh, come on, Fazbear, you got this! Don't let us down! Uh, <laughs> come on! What do we do? <laughs> what? I have two hands, you know. What's this now? Get away from them. Funny, I thought this was all me, but wow, you have a darker side. Get away from my family. There's always a darker side. I'm impressed. Channeling all that anger, pent up violence, I drew out of you. And now it's my downfall. You're using it to protect your family. Makes my little heart melt. Uh, you'll never defeat me. Never kill me. What was it all for? A distraction. What? Gotcha. <laughs> scary how good you are at that. Hey, don't beat yourself up too bad, bud. I mean, hey, you were the distraction. <laughs> Thanks, I try my best. Oh, hi, Sunrise. I'm sorry I didn't listen to you. It's okay, really, it's, it's okay. I'm, I'm okay, we're okay. You're alive. I'm alive, we're here. We're all fine. <laughs> you guys really do get in too much trouble. Shut up! <sighs> Drop your hurt. It's okay. I'll walk it off. That was incredible! You managed to hold him back. He's a god! Almost Freddy couldn't stand up to him. No offense. None taken. I needed the help. Oh, at least it's all over. Hey, uh, guys, I wouldn't speak too soon. What? You're good. You're all real good. How? You think life is a simple concept I can grasp? Uh, that's child's play. I'll commend you all for your efforts, though. You beat me up real good. And even in that whole scuffle, no one ever quite realized the eclipse has passed. Oh, wait. He's right. What does that mean? Well, that was my 30 minutes of fun. 10,000 years. All that up to that. I thought I was gonna kill all of you, make quick work of you, and have fun while doing it, but... 
You know, I've realized that this is much more interesting than I first thought. And somehow, you've all blessed me. I'm still here. I should have been sealed away. What does that mean now? Well, I'm practically a little pitiful weakling like the rest of you, but... You've all made things very interesting for me. Get out of here. I don't ever want to see you again. You can't control my destiny, Moondrop. <laughs> you all have made more fun for me than I've had my entire eternal pitiful existence. And I'm going to find a way to bring that eclipse back. And when I do, this world will burn and I will thrive in your ashes. So for now, I'll take to the shadows, like a poor little moon would, and let the sun thrive, but one day it will fall. Don't talk about her that way. <sighs> Just having some fun. Oh, you're good. You will be the first to die. Okay, well, he lied about the whole powerless thing. He can still teleport. Guys, did we just piss off another god? I don't know. What the hell? We just let him get away? What exactly were we supposed to do? There's no prisons here, and uh, we can't kill him. I just tried that. Jeez, Freddy, that was some character development. I didn't think you were going to kill something. What? I turned on fight or flight. He was literally going to kill all of you. Not even Bonnie got that close. Speaking of Bonnie, where is he? He's taking those entrepreneurship classes, remember? He, uh, doesn't want to repeat the con artist shtick. <laughs> Fair enough. You guys okay? Yeah. Um, I'm okay, I think. Can't believe you have a little, like, defense mode. It's kind of awesome, actually. <laughs> Thanks. I'm sorry that picnic didn't really go as planned. You two gonna be okay? Yeah. We're good. I do wonder, though. You guys think he's gonna come back? Well, if that's the case, we'll be ready for him. <sighs> I sure hope so. I've seen you. I remember you. You managed to sustain that glitch trap virus much better than most of the people in that bleeding room. So, question, why'd you give in? <sighs> if it weren't for this pesky necklace running out of remnant as per usual. Attempting to integrate myself into society's been hard. Got a makeover, tried to secede into the shadows. It's not the same as it used to be. Getting more of the stuff is nearly impossible. Rendered me useless. I can imagine your circumstances are strikingly similar to mine. Otherwise, why else would you come looking for little old Eleanor? Because, ma'am, I'd like to make a deal. Oh? I'm sure we could get you your remnant. And you could help me with a little plan of my own. I'm still trying to figure everything out here. And I think a couple people like us should team up. Cause some chaos. Well, I couldn't agree more. <laughs>